initial thoughts so far, man? Nice and smooth. It's got plenty of it's really stable. Like, it almost feels like a trainer. Tries some high rates a little bit. Okay. to go crazy. Okay. Alright, he's gonna go crazy tomorrow. How's the invert? It's pretty stable. It's got a little bit of wants to roll back over. Yeah, and that's nice. probably because the airflow. Yeah. Sounds like it's working. Yeah. Good roll. Try to stall, see how it doesn't install. <laughs> yeah. I think it's smooth. It's like you can think while you're flying. <laughs> Too bad. It's not perfect, but I mean, right. like I said, it's safe and stable. So right. You kind of get one or the other. And I enjoy stable more. Yeah. Bring it in? Sure. Okay. Bring it in. There's no wind, man, so just. I'm gonna try one more inverted. Okay, one more invert. Nice. I wish I could fly like that. <laughs> no, you're good, dude. All right, so um, poor Jake, on his day of his maiden, got super sick. Um, but he texted me early in the morning, like at 6 o'clock in the morning, saying, go on without me, make sure the product gets out. So, um, we, you know, what better pilot than have to have Nick fly it. Nick's our best pilot by, sure, uh, by far to, to really showcase the plane. Nick, what do you think of the plane, man? I love how stable it is. It's nice and smooth. You can fly it, uh, fly it and still think, which is always nice. Good, uh, go out and just cruise around. It's got uh, it's got the airfoil, so rolling it and loops aren't its best thing, but they're totally doable. I did plenty of those. 
And what are some of the rates you had um, when you were flying this so that people can kind of get a gist of, you know, 100%, um, right? Yes, elevator was 100%, uh, uh, aileron was, I took off on 50%, correct? Yep. And then I also flew at 100% most of the flight. Cool. And then we also had uh, travel adjustments on the DX6, full 125% on, on everything. Um, we have flown this thing with the DX5, worked out great. Um, but being able to have even more control and, and really getting your um, elevator uh, to work is, mm -hmm. um, which was really good. Um, Jake make sure, wanted me to make sure to point out um, to see the changes in terms of what he made. He made the engine look a lot better. Um, he fixed the front so it has a, a better look to it. So it's got this kind of bend down and the bend in looking more true like the F-35 itself. Um, the specs that we used for this plane was the 22126. We used a 30 amp plus ESC. This compression plate just comes right off with the cap. You know. Okay, so you can see the 30 amp plus is what we used. Just a regular DX Spectrum. So two receivers? Um, just one with the satellite, yep. Um, and then we also used our little safe battery um, contraption here because of. Uh, we really wanted to be able to throw this thing around and what happened to Nick's <laughs> last week. We wanted to make sure that didn't happen again. But everything is standard. Our 2200 uh, milliamp with our um, our 40C discharge battery, three cell. And uh, we're working off of four uh, servos. Two to guide the ailerons and two to guide the um, elevator. Um, all on Y splits going into the um, aileron and elevator slots of the receiver. Um, let's see. I want, I want to make sure I do them justice. Was there any ch other changes? Um, I think that was that was pretty much it. Um, Jake's did his build V already. That's gonna come out Friday, um, and the plans should be now. So as you're watching this video, they should be available now um, by going to macefighters.com and going to our PDF plans. Um, just look for the picture of the uh, 35. It should be on there. And um, also. Garrett over at Outseed Hobbies, is, uh, he wants this plane in his store, so we've got kits over uh, at his store now, um, and uh, maybe give him a day or two to get himself prepared for the sales, and uh, he's got an initial you know, set of uh, planes in stock, but um, Jake, sorry you couldn't be here, man, but we finished it, great job on your plane, Nick, good job for representing him in the plane, and uh, support the program, go and buy one. Support the program, go download the plans, make this with somebody, share your pictures, always share your pictures with us. It's always great to show uh, the kids and the, the, the ones who built it, uh, the pictures of them, uh, of your guys' planes, and uh, keep supporting the program. Thanks for watching.